Um, uh, realizing I was trans. So, I was about five years old when my younger brother was born. And I remember being so excited to, you know, have a boy in the family. And I was so excited about all the toys. And I felt like I tried to play with them the most, mostly because I wanted to play with his cars all the time. Um, growing up, you know, my older sister, younger sister, and at the time I was, you know, considered the female, very f f female. <sighs> so most of our toys were like Barbies and stuff. We also had, uh, you know, s stuff like that. A lot of dolls and stuff. So when he was born, it was just so exciting that um, he had a lot of, you know, toys. Um, I remember when he was um, a bit older. I was about seven. Uh, he was two. Two and a half, I think. I was about to turn eight. Uh, he was potty training. And I remember I used to... I used to stand over the toilet. And, uh... <laughs> I'd pee like that to try to show him... How to... How to pee... Like a... Like a man, cause... Um... We were going through some shit at the time, and in short, our grandma... Kinda kidnapped us, and stuff so we were away from our parents and uh there was no one to teach my brother how to use the restroom so i was trying to show him um after all that shit got settled and a few years later i used to always tell my brother to just look at me like an older brother i used to tell him to refer to me as an older brother because i kind of felt like you know with how busy um, my dad was working that he didn't really have a uh, male figure around too often. So I don't know, I just kind of, I thought I could be that for him. So I used to tell him to refer to me as his older brother. Um, I want to say uh, around that time too, it was eight, almost nine. I remember asking my mom if I could change my name to Rex. Uh, no reason. I, I don't know. I just I just liked the name when I was, you know, little for some reason. A few years later, well, not even a few years later, maybe a few months later, uh, my mom got me a dog and I tried to name him Rex. It's like, if I can't have that fucking name, my dog will have that name. And even then, my mom rejected the name. So... Um, my mom always liked, uh, trying to put me in dresses, and she also liked, you know, getting to have us have long hair and all that stuff. Um, so I know as I got older, like, I want to say about 12 is when things really started to, to kind of hit. Started wearing more masculine clothing, but at the same time, my mental health went pretty... It it was pretty bad. Um, it was kind of like I, I wasn't understanding what I was feeling, and I couldn't... I couldn't accept it, I guess. So I kind of, you know, spent a lot of time in therapy for a while. Still didn't admit it. Um... When I was 15 is when my mom passed away. And, um, that's when I decided to, f uh, not long after I finally decided to cut my hair. I didn't do it when she was around cause I knew she liked my hair, 
being long. And I don't I guess I didn't want to disappoint her. And the the funny thing is she did have a lot of friends that were part of the LGBT community. I remember one person in particular, a trans woman, that uh, would come over often. And it was kind of like, wow, you know, you know, my mom accepts this person for who she is. And I don't know why I was afraid to come out with it myself. Um, so yeah, I was, I was about 15. Uh, my then girlfriend at the time, uh, her dad made fun of me for cutting my hair. And it was kind of hard because I, I got these feelings often. And, at, you know, the girl I was dating at the time kind of made it um, weird, I guess. And I experienced a lot of self-hate because of it. Um, I almost felt like I didn't really control what I did. Sorry, I just saw someone. So, it's kind of, uh, she was someone that put me down quite a bit. Uh, made me feel stupid all the time. So when I'm having these thoughts, you know, I just kind of hated myself really. And it was a lot of self-hatred until you know, that relationship ended, and I was 19, which is, I'm 19, I'm gonna be 20 in a, f in a couple months, actually, but, um, that's when I finally tried to come out, I didn't want to fully come out, so I told people I don't want to be referred to as female, confused people, so they just referred to me with they, them pronouns, um, Eventually, I did come out to people, and I'm pretty sure my dad figured it was gonna happen soon, because before I actually came out to him, he, uh, he put this earring in my ear, because I had just the one pierced, and he said, wear it in your left, because men wear it in their left, so that's kind of, you know... He, he knew it was going to happen. And that's when I finally decided that this is who I am. I need to pursue it. I was encouraged by, you know, other people to pursue this. And I managed to find a doctor to get me on testosterone. And that's kind of where I am at now. I have been very... Uh, Sorry for the awkward cut. My camera decided to give up on me again. But, anyways, I think that's kind of all I have to say. I don't really know much else. So yeah, catch y'all later.